Hello everyone, I'm Mason from electronics123.com and today I have a very simple tutorial on how to make a garage door opener. Um, this is can be used for lots of things. Um, I just chose garage door opener and with the devices um, I have linked below, you can use this to basically have a pin pad operated anything. So I started with an Arduino R3 Currently, they're on sale on our website for $9.95. Um, it's the cheapest microcontroller we have. I have a very simple um, keypad, then a very capable and cheap relay. Some other things that you'll need for this project is some solder. I always choose lead-free, um, try to be as healthy as possible while soldering, even though the fumes, even if you do have a fume extractor, do um, get a little bit nauseous. Then I have my basic soldering iron. I've been using this one for about five years without problems. Um, if you want, I'll link everything that I used as well as the shopping list for this project down below. So the first thing you need to do is assemble the relay unit which um, you chose. I chose um, a unit called the Beefcake Relay. It's um, from SparkFun. It's the cheapest relay I believe we have on our website, and it's also the most capable. Um, it's a very simple put together. I don't have video footage of me putting it together, but I did link a PDF down below that has all the steps on how to put it together and test it as well. Next thing I did was I soldered um, some jumper wires onto the bottom of my keypad. It's always nice to test your projects um, and make sure they work exactly how you want them before you go and um, run the full length wires and install them permanently. So um, I'd like to color code everything. So down below I will have PDFs of all the wire diagrams that I use that actually match what I did on here. Okay, so um, as I was saying, I like to keep everything color coded. So here's a very quick reference on what I color coded everything to be. And just please note, um, there is a pink wire on this that just corresponds with the white wire on my keypad um, in the software I use to create these diagrams. You can't choose a white wire that I know of. Okay, so once we have all of the wires soldered to the board, I wanna test to make sure that the keypad works properly. So what I did is I provided a sample code in the description below that basically allows you to test the keypad. Um, with these keypads, you can look at the schematics to see um, which pin is what um, button on the thing. But if you use the keypad, keypad that I linked down below, I already did all the fun um, stuff for you. So I'm just gonna hurry up and connect these. So I have the blue wire going to pin four yellow to pin nine, green to pin five, then I have the black pin to pin six, then, then I have the orange pin to, or orange wire to pin three, and of course there's a fly. Then I have the white wire, which in the diagram is pink, going to number seven. Then I have the red wire going to pin eight. And once you have this hooked up, you basically go to the Arduino IDE. Um, it's free to download, it's open source. It's a pretty great thing to um, use to test um, projects and write your code in. Um, I will provide the sample code and provide some screenshots of what the sample code will do once it's uploaded onto the device. Okay, so now that we see that the keypad works properly and um, when you press one, one appears in the serial monitor. When you press three, three appears, so on and so forth. This next diagram I have actually just adds the Beefcake Relay Kit to the Arduino. And of course, down below I will have um, PDFs of everything and a written um, how-to to follow besides this video. This is basically just showing how simple this is to use. Now, if you just wanted this uh, module to act as a button, you can stop 
right here and just um, put the code on the Arduino that I provided down below. But I like to have things be used for multiple things. So I added a relay kit so it can actually um, do like read activated switches, which is really nice. Um, we actually have um, a very similar setup with our shipping department, just so our UPS and FedEx guy, they have a pin, they can type it in and it unlocks a door to which they can grab our packages that we're shipping out for the day. So down below, um, this board does take five volts, so it's very simple. I just get five volts from the Arduino. It also needs a ground, so I just use the ground that's right next to the five volt pin. And with the code, you can change the code. Um, I did put um, that pin 13 is the pin that's activated when the um, key that is, well, the pin that is entered in correctly, it basically sends a signal to it. And of course, um, you can change the code to your likens. I have it to um, basically pin 13. It's um, the same pin as the LED, so it's really easy for debugging. I also um, have, if you look into the code, um, something that says false for pin 12 that basically um, I just always put an LED in to basically when you're not entering the right um, pin or password or when it's in standby um, I used a red LED to basically show that the code was in that section of course you can remove that if you want to and I also have it to where once the pin is um, pressed or keyed in um, about one to two seconds later, the relay will close. I just did that um, for basically for my garage door opener. Of course, you can change it, you can get rid of it, you can have it just, you type in the pin and it stays open until you press a certain key on this. And in the code, I did include two um, passwords just so that say you have multiple member or mail multiple family members in your household that wants to be able to use this device. It's very easy to give them a pin, change in the code, and so on and so forth. So right now, that's the end of the video. Um, I will include a written how-to as well. And I hope you guys continue to shop with us. Have a good one.